Welcome to part 6 of the Leading Sheep webinar series on electric fencing. This episode, producer Alan Forrest offers his advice on effective fence design. You know, the first slide uh, showed the um, pigs in my yard here that um, run free range basically behind an eight wire hinge joint fence with a hot wire above it and or one or two hot wires on the inside. I put the hinge joint on the back of the post, ran two hot wires off the single side. Uh, then I found out that um, pigs could still push under from the other side so I added a, um, an outrigger to that side and um, that bore pig weighs in at about 300 kilos and he just will not touch that fence even when the sows in the adjoining pen um, are in season. He makes some very awful noises but he just will not touch that fence and without a, you know, metal post cemented in the ground, sty type fence, I don't know, you know, how any other fence that doesn't include electricity, um, you know, could control an animal that size. So. Whenever I go, when I go to feed my pigs and I see him there not touching that fence, it sort of just reiterates to me the the power of electricity. Um, you know, especially once once animals are, are used to it. You know, I suppose uh, this is an official question, but you know, would you would you climb through that fence when you see it's insulated? Um, would you climb through it a second time if it birded you the first time? So that's that that psychological effect. It has on you, you know. You ask someone to grab a hot wire, and um, yeah, very th few people will will take you on with it. So, um, continuing on with um, fence design, um, as I said, you know, we've used outriggers, new fences. Um, <coughs> uh, just looking at your at your situation where you you know you want to improve your your livestock control, and then um, coming up with a with a plan that um, hopefully works without having to um, be redone, redesigned because you've made a mistake. But in this next slide, uh, there's a picture here at the corner of our property, Logan Crail, um, which is a, a, a sort of a three-way boundary corner. So on the right, the existing netting fence was what was there. Um, when I bought the property, that fence used to continue on the left. Um, joining the uh, the neighbours, my neighbour and or two of my neighbours, so they redid their boundary fence. Um, uh, that new fence consists of seven line hinge joint with a barb above it, a barb below it, two high tensile wires, one at the top of the hinge joint, one at the bottom. Um, and then he went through and added um, this little wire uh, droppers sort of thing between the top barb and and the hinge joint and the bottom barb and the hinge joint to um, try and stop the barb from from getting plaited up. Um, this next slide um, as it comes up shows uh, what I chose to do on my fence which basically that netting fence was reasonably unviable after so many years with the netting being buried in the ground, um, a lot of it was rusted off. Um, a lot of the support wires rusted and broken. Um, quite a few uh, roof holes through it. Um, you'd fix, and I uh, by that stage had uh, had to bring goats down here due to seasonal conditions out west. So you'd go and fix one one hole, and only to find out that. Um, from them rubbing on it, pushing through it, um, you know, two days later there was another hole beside it. So I added uh, two hot wires. Mainly uh, I used two because there was some disused two wire electric fencing around here. And um, the, uh, the setup on, on Rio rods with insulators, I had that gear I could reclaim. So I thought, well, I've got two in insulators per Rio rod. I might as well use them. Um, I fully believe one one offset wire would have been um, equally as effective. But also uh, another consideration there is that's reasonably close. I probably go um, 
another 8k into some multi wire fencing and um, then single being powered by those two wires. So it gave me uh, two pipes to carry the carry the water. If you want to use the analogy of um, uh, moving water is is similar to moving electricity. So yeah, went with that. Mm -hmm.